Hello, welcome to my channel, In Flight Music. My name is Ian, and today I want to go over probably one of the most powerful tools within FL Studio. So in my last tutorial, I went over my FL Studio template a little bit more, and I covered these parallel tracks. And today I just want to show you an alternative to using these parallel tracks if that confused you at all. So the plugin that I'm talking about is Patcher. And the cool thing about Patcher is it's a multi-effect unit that allows you to add as many effects as you possibly can imagine inside of it. And you could do extra routing inside of Patcher, which means you could have parallel tracks inside of Patcher. And another thing that's really cool, you'll notice that in my parallel track tutorial, we had to flip this phase in order to get the tracks to sound right together. Within Patcher, it's designed to kind of already do that for you. So you could keep adding these parallel tracks and you're still gonna come out with a solid signal. To compare this, I'm just gonna go ahead and add Fruity Wave Shaper, which is on my 808, and I'm just gonna move these over into Patcher. So to set up the routing exactly as it would be inside of the insert, let me just go ahead and turn these off. And basically you would just have these going into each other one by one. So now when we compare this, we'll get the same exact sound. So it's identical, it's the exact same thing. But however, the cool thing about Patcher is if I turn all these off, I can go ahead and create a parallel track. So let me go to my parallel track for the 808 and drag these parallel effects into Patcher instead. And what you're gonna notice is that this sounds a little different than using the parallel track. And that's because it does a really good job in compensating for the phase issue that you have using parallel tracks. So let me just go ahead and play Patcher's version and then I'll switch over to the parallel track version. So to me, to my ears, there's just a lot more girth, a lot more weight to the uh, Patcher version. And it's all because of how Patcher works to manipulate the phase issue. You're just going to hear the frequencies different than using a parallel track and trying to adjust with the reverse polarity switch right here. You're not going to really get all of the signal that you're looking for that you might be looking for. I mean, sometimes I would say, don't be afraid to use parallel tracks just because you're afraid of phasing. So in the example that I used in the last video with this parallel track, I actually got the perfect sound that I was looking for. So it's not that you don't want phasing at all. It's just that you have to learn to work with it. At the end of the day, you just have to trust your ears. And if you're hearing what you like, then go with it. At the same time, I just want to say that Patcher is providing a different sound. So it's not going to be identical to using these parallel tracks. And that's because of whatever algorithm that they use inside of Patcher to compensate for that. And I would say it's pretty solid. It just sounds more solid, more clean, just a stronger signal overall. So right here, we're just using two parallel tracks. So if I wanted to, I could add even a third signal to this and just keep adding plugins. And then at the same time, just like I have all of my parallel tracks routed to a bus where I can control all the tracks at the same time, you're, I'm doing the same thing right here with Fruity Limiter. I'm controlling all the parallel signals at the same time. And you could branch these off any way you want. So say, for example, I wanted a parallel track going exactly like this, but I wanted to branch off from Fruity Blood Overdrive and create another parallel off of just the fast distortion and the blood overdrive signal. You could do all kinds of crazy stuff like that. But I'm definitely going to have a sound design series with uh, Fruity Patcher. And I'm also including this exact preset for you guys inside of the description. If you're signed up to my newsletter, that means you already got this. So that's one reason to sign up to my newsletter if you haven't already. Everyone that got my FL Studio template is pretty much signed up 
except for like 10 people. But that's pretty good considering there's hundreds of people signed up right now. So I think the number literally is exactly 10 people that unsubscribed, which is pretty nuts. So it tells me that you guys do actually want what I'm giving you. So I'm definitely going to deliver on my promise of free stuff uh, throughout the year. So that's definitely going to include presets like this, uh, patcher presets, and VSTI presets. So one thing that you guys might already know, Patcher isn't just an effect plugin, it's also a VSTI plugin. And let's actually just start out with Citrus first. Now let's link GMS. So the great thing about using Patcher as a VSTI layering device you could also add effects. So let's go ahead and add Fruity EQ. That's just using a couple plugins, parametric EQ. We could add distortion on here. We could add compression. We could do all kinds of crazy stuff. Reverbs, delays. You could just de delay one side. Yeah, you could throw in Fruity Panomatic, pan one sound to the left, the other sound to the right. You could stereo shape the whole thing, stereo shape just one of the sounds. There's so much that you could do inside of Patcher that you wouldn't be able to do just within your channels in terms of just mixing and sound designing the sound that you want before you even get to your inserts. And that's something that I really believe in. You wanna create the best sound possible before you even get into mixing. It'll just make your mixing a lot easier to the point where all you're doing is just adjusting levels. I definitely have a lot of sound design tips and tricks for you guys here in the future using just FL stock plugins. The truth is you can get some exotic sounds that would really shock you in terms of what FL Studio is capable of. This plugin right here, Patcher, and just the stock sounds that they already have. So that's why I say Patcher, probably the most powerful tool inside of FL Studio. But I'll definitely get into more detail about that in the future with uh, future Patcher tutorials. So this won't be the last one. So definitely subscribe if you wanna see these future tutorials. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.